How's it going guys? It's Root Junkie here. Today's video, since many, many of you have been asking for it, this is my Amazon Fire 5th Gen tablet. This is the one I just showed you guys how to install Sidejama. This is the latest one. You got it for $35 on Black Friday if you snag that deal. Um, right now I have Sidejama on it. You can see that's what I'm running right here. This is the Sidejama OS. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to restore this thing and get stock Amazon firmware back on it. Maybe you messed your device up, maybe you're in a boot loop, maybe the thing won't turn on. Whatever the reason, something went wrong, and this is going to be how to get your device restored. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and turn this one off. So, we'll be in the off state. Now, while your thing's turning off, let's go to my computer and download some files you're going to need. Alright guys, so here we are on the computer, and this is my site, rootjunkiesdl.com. You've probably all seen it before. Basically, to do this, you're going to need to have your ADB and Fastboot files functioning correctly. If you do not have those set up on your device with the Android SDK or maybe my super tool for this device, then you're going to want to download this file and extract it to your desktop and have a folder with ADB and Fastboot files in it. Okay. After that, you want to come over here to the Amazon Fire 5th Gen. Again, there's the super tool if you want. You could just download that file and you'll have the ADB Fastboot tools that will be in that folder. Um, but if we're going to get the stock firmware, so right here is the stock firmware. This is, where are we at here? So this is the one I did, I, I was on when I installed SciGenMod. So I should be able to restore to that. But if you installed SciGenMod or did any of this hacking and you were on this version, this is the latest, then you're going to want to use the latest. Always look for the latest build when you're restoring your device just to make sure it works right. Lastly. I'll give you this link too. This is actually where you get the software for them directly from Amazon and you can download it right here and it'll download the latest software for you. Um, so I've got all the software I need already downloaded. Make sure you get those files there. Lastly, you're going to need some drivers. So let me uh, just show you where my drivers are at. So you can actually, there's drivers in the super tool as well if you want that file or you can come over here to Android drivers and probably the Google drivers would be your best choice. And go ahead and click on those and then download the Google drivers right here. Again, everything is going to be linked. So you'll see everything in the video description below this video. So that's everything you're going to need. All right. So I'm going to jump around with all those files. Um, and we should be able to do all this process. So let's open up some folders. This is my platform tools. This is basically where my ADB and Fastboot files are. See those four files? The rest of those don't matter. They're just files I have in here. These are the four you need. Um, so you're working out of this folder. So what we're going to do is we're going to hold shift on our computer, right click on our mouse, and open command window here. That gets us a command window in the f file structure of the ADB and Fastboot files. We're really only going to be using ADB though. Alright, so we're set up right now, we're ready to go in here. Let's go back to our device and let's put this thing into recovery mode so we can restore it. So to put the device into recovery mode, what we're going to do is we're going to hold volume down and power from the powered off state. We powered it off earlier, so we're going to hold volume down and power. This should boot us into recovery mode. So let's give it a second here. See it says recovery down there in the bottom corner. You can actually let go of, I would keep holding the volume down, but let go of the power button. All right, and now you're in recovery. So once you're in recovery, I'm going to actually flip this upside down so it's going to be a little hard to see this because of where my cable management is, but you'll get the point. Go ahead and plug in your cable. All right, I should be there. And then what you're going to do is you're going to scroll with your volume up and down, down until you see, see here, it should be apply update, just looking at the options. Yeah, so it's going to be apply update from ADB. So once you get that highlighted, go ahead and hit the uh, power button. And that's going to put this thing in an ADB sideload mode. When it does that, it's going to install some drivers. So I'm going to show you. For me, it installed these. Android Composite ADB Interface. And my driver's installed. So that means we're ready to rock with this thing. If you have problems with drivers, check out my super tool. It'll walk you through some steps to get them manually installed. All right, so from here, we're just going to type in here ADB side, ADB space side load, and then a space. So ADB space side load space, and then you're going to need that firmware file. So let me grab mine. Here are my firmware files. 
And the easiest thing to do is just drag the file into the folder. And it's, 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 a, it's in a bin extension. That's how it comes. Um, that's how you want it. It's just you don't want to extract it. You just it downloads like this. Just pull it directly into the, into the structure. So I'm actually going to pull the latest firmware. And I'm just going to drag it in. There we go. And that puts all the file extension and everything you need in there. So now we have ADB, side load, the firmware image. And we're going to go ahead and hit enter. And it is loading it. So what that's going to do is that's going to push the firmware over to the device. You can see there's some progress on it. At this point, you really do not want to bump your USB cable, which mine's right down here, hard to see. And this cable port is terrible on these things, so be really, really careful. Don't bump any cable. Um, and you're going to let this thing run through. It's going to take a while. It's got to push the firmware to the device, and then it's got to actually flash the firmware on the device. I don't think it does that in the same step. It might, but anyway. You can actually see progress on the computer here as well, which is pretty cool. You got a percentage, and it just keeps repopulating that as it goes down. So it's going to count through. It looks like it moves one line every percent, so you got to go 100 lines. So we're going to let this thing roll, and we'll come back to it once it finishes this process of flashing this firmware over ADB side load. All right, so there it goes. So we took us about eight minutes to flash the firmware, and you can see it did a whole bunch of different crap down there at the bottom, um, and says installation from ADB complete. At this point, you're safe to uh, unplug your cable, and uh, we're done on our computer. All right, let's rotate this bad boy around. Now you can see it. Maybe you can read it a little bit better. Um, yeah, so... A bunch of different information talks about your board, copying preloader, boot partition, for secure devices, scripts successful. So very interesting. So we're gonna go ahead and hit the power button up here. It's on a reboot system now. And that should reboot the device. So at this point, we should be done. We should be completely restored from side mod or a boot loop or thing wouldn't brick some kind of a brick um, where it wouldn't boot up for you and you'll be restored to the stock fire now this should have wiped off everything off the device um, and you have to do go through your setup process again sending to your Amazon account whatnot and so on um, I think anything on your internal storage might have been wiped with this I'm pretty sure it was uh, external storage if you have a SD card in it that should have stayed its integrity should have been good so if you have pictures on that or files you should be good on that side but anything on the device itself i'm pretty sure was wiped if you have a problem with it booting up at this point it could be because it actually didn't wipe some of your data it's a possibility i don't think it's true but it could be and you might need to do a factory reset in recovery but you know how to boot into recovery now so it shouldn't be an issue let's let this boot up and just show you we're running stock firmware so this is interesting here on uh, initial startup We've got the installing latest software. So I'm not sure if there's actually some new software being installed here or if this just comes on every time you boot up the device. It seems like every time I was booting up mine, I was getting this installing latest software warning. So I'll be curious to see if there's actually newer firmware than what I have downloaded out there that it's actually doing that or not. I think from what I've seen is they're trying to do like a check on your device to make sure that all of the latest apps are on there. And if you've tried to modify or get rid of some, they're trying to reinstall them at this point, which is pretty stinking sneaky. Um, so we're, I'm curious to see what happens here once this thing boots, because I don't think I've connected it to my Wi-Fi, so I don't know how it can be installing software, unless it didn't wipe itself when I did it. So if wipe data effect reset, if it didn't do that, 
Yeah, I'm just curious. So we'll see what happens when it boots. So it looks like this process of installing the latest update is almost done. Um, I'm going to guess, you know, by the time you run through this whole process and you get your device actually booting the operating system again, by the time you do the restore, you let the thing boot, you let this update install or whatever it's doing right here, uh, it's going to be a 25 minute process probably to do this full restore and get stock Amazon Fire software back on it um, or fixed from a boot loop, whichever it is. There we go. Okay. We're finally getting there. See some flashing going on. It's still kind of thinking about it. There it goes. Okay, so we're at we're at the uh, you know kind of login stuff. So um, yeah, so I'm gonna join up to my uh, Wi-Fi here. Please wait. Oh my word, sucker slow. Give me my side and my back. Shabam. There it is. Get through all that setup stuff and got this thing booting. So there you go. That is it. That is the device. You can see all the good stuff. I haven't signed into my account. I just kind of skipped over it so I could show it to you. But there you go. Fully restored. Fully functioning. Amazon Fire 5th Gen. Boom. Hope you guys like this video. Um, probably going to be doing more on this fun little tablet. For 35 bucks. it's just such a good deal. It's just so fun to play with. So, what happened there? Did it download an app or get rid of an app? That was funky. Not sure, but anyway... Um, yeah, stay tuned for more videos. Hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, you know, I'm going to try to integrate some of this like resource functionality maybe into my super tool at some point um, and play with that more uh, as development happens here. So stay tuned for those videos uh, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out.